Hello friends. So let's learn about Snowflake dashboards. In this video, uh, we are going to learn about what is dashboard and uh, what type of uh, data we can represent as a dashboard and uh, what are all the different types of charts available in Snowflake and uh, for creating those charts, uh, we'll do a working session and then we end up. Okay, now what is dashboard? Dashboards are summarized data sets. It can be presented in a way uh, to convey any information in an easy way to understand. For example, so if we have a database, it contains uh, n number of tables in and then those tables may have uh, millions or billions of records. So, if we select the data from the table, it is difficult to understand. But if we prepare something as in the form of a report, for example, if you have sales data, so if I prepare some report, uh, what are the monthly sales? And uh, what are the profits based on some product? And I present those information in the form of a graph or chart. Then it is easy for anybody to understand. So that is called as dashboard. So, so there are uh, many uh, reporting tools such as Tableau, Power BI. Yeah? These are all different uh, reporting tools which will be majorly used for reporting things. They have multiple type of functionalities. But Snowflake inbuilt has given some functionalities which we can utilize to prepare the dashboards or charts. Okay, so these dashboards will give uh, by using these dashboards we can understand the story what the data tells are the insights the data reveals okay so what type of data we can represent as dashboard so for example we have some customer data so in a database customer tables are there which are keep increasing day by day and uh, at some point of time we want to analyze the data then you can prepare some dashboard with for that customer metrics for example monthly how many uh, customers added from which region how many customers added what is the highest and how the trend is going on all these things we can represent in the form of dashboards similarly financial information what are those uh, where and what is happening in the financial background and uh, sales information on which product we are getting profits what are the highest sales in which month we are getting best profits like that we can prepare some dashboards by using the snowflake tables and then which can be easily presented to the customers or clients and then also we have uh, some job metrics like right? uh, how many jobs are running what are the long running jobs what are the um, jobs which not ran so these kind of things are also we can capture in the form of dashboards which will be helpful in monitoring activities so let's go to the next slide so what are the different types of charts available in snowflake so majorly we have uh, five types of uh, uh, functions available in the charts okay one line chart two bar chart third one is scatter chart and there is a heat grid and then a scorecard so we'll do a working session on each and every type of chart available in snowflake so let's move on to the working session so i have uh, prepared some queries which we can use for this session i will be sharing all these queries uh, uh, in the summary 
method which we can which you can utilize if you want to perform the any practice so now let's move on to the snowflake working session so this is the uh, page where we need to come here to create dashboards just click on this button you will land in this page these are some practice uh, dashboards i have prepared earlier so if you want to prepare some new dashboard click on the dashboard button and give some name just do practice and then click on create dashboard so this is our main dashboard page for this particular dashboard and then what are the things you have to do here if you look at this here by using which role this dashboard can run and uh, what is the warehouse which can be utilized to run this dashboard so for now i will be choosing compute warehouse and then we have a button called share so by using this share button you can share this dashboard to any person uh, i mean to say any account other account they can use this dashboard they can run the dashboard and the view the dashboard data so here now this is the main page of the dashboard so here each and every graph or whatever you want to represent over here need to be created in the tiles tiles are the building blocks of the dashboards so let's click on new tile so here uh, if you see here um, whatever the query we want to execute we need to select some database or we can use the absolute uh, table or view whatever we want so for now i will use some database and then some i can use any schema okay these are some schema available and database available you can choose anything for your practice so and then i will name it as the first one live chat i have prepared the query already so let's copy and paste uh, the line chart query so for most of the queries i have used the snowflake sample data which by default for all the accounts available okay. so you can use the same queries and then practice this session so if you see here uh, there is a table which contains uh, store returns data i am just uh, limiting some 1 lakh records for fast running purpose so here i am filtering some return date and then the net loss so what is the return date and then what is the net loss based on the date Okay, this table may have uh, n number of columns i'm just filtering two of them which we can utilize for our line chart so let me run the query so yeah, this is the result which has some 100 k records which i have limited and so now what i want to see here i want to see some chat so click on this button chat here this data is going to be organized in a beautiful way see here but for this particular date it is a net loss here so here if you see net loss sr net loss store return net loss so here you have some aggregation functions which we can utilize for this chat so here we have count none you don't want to aggregate anything then you can choose none if you want to count this particular how many are there then you can use count if you want to find out minimum in the net loss minimum if you want to find maximum you can choose maximum and then i have used some here it is some sum of the net loss for this particular date and then median average mode all these are different types of aggregations 
can utilize in this line chart. So this is the way you can represent uh, a line chart. And then there are some other functions like uh, you can label x axis with some co column name. And then if you want to label y axis, you can choose this one net class. So here you can see these two column names are added as labels. So this is line chart. And then let's go to the return to DB practice. So if you see here, this on the main dashboard page, this line chart has been added, and then you are not seeing the actual query. Okay. At the back end of this chart, this query is available. Okay, now what I want to do, I want to add one more tile to this dashboard page. So now what is the next one I'm going to run? I'm going to run our chat. So this is also uh, from the same Snowflake sample data. I will just rename it as a bar chat. Okay. And then let me run this query. So this this may have n number of columns, but if you want to present the data in the form of chart, just click on the chart. See, this is represented in the form of actually line chart. So this is the first option, right? Whenever you click on it, it will by default it will give us a line chart. So if I want to prepare bar chart, just click on the bar chart here. You will see. A beautiful bar chart here so here also you will get some aggregation functions and then count minimum max some median average mode so you can apply all these different functions and then you can prepare the bar chart and then let's move on to the next chart whenever you click on this the chat will be added here so these two are the different tiles which are on the main dashboard page so we are not seeing the queries here so for each and every tile there is some query at the back end which is running whenever you run this main run button this data will get refreshed whenever the underlying data is getting changed some whenever you run this one this chat will get refreshed automatically so now let's move on to the next chat I'm going to add one more tile so what is the next one scatter chat so for scatter chat I have uh, prepared some data which can be uh, helpful for preparing a scatter chart, I'm going to prepare a table which I'm going to use for preparing the scatter chart. Okay, I have uh, created table with the uh, uh, grid practice, or you can mark it as a scatter chart. Chat chat practice. Sorry for the delay. Now there are two columns here one is the customer name and then the customer id customer name is character field and then the customer id is number let's create this table and then i'm going to insert some data in this into this table 
you see here I'm just giving for a1 b2 c3 d4 e5 and f is 0 and then from g to h it's negative of 1 2 3 4 5 okay, I have inserted this data total all the records got inserted so let's see how many are there here we should have some 11 records see here 1 2 3 4 5 0 minus 1 minus 2 3 4 5 so let's click on the chart button so by default it is giving us some bar chart in this way but if you want to uh, make it as a scatter chart in a beautiful way let's click on this button click on scatter see here this graph has been changed into a scatter chart and uh, See here, there are uh, these labels are already taken automatically, but uh, you want to do some. So all the two columns has been added al already. This is uh, CID in the CID value. And then So this is how we can represent a scatter chart in the form of dots actually. So if you see here all the minus is this side and then plus is this side and uh, data is represented in the form of scattered way. Okay. Let's move on to the, let me rename this to the scatter chart. So this one has is also added here. So now what is next one? Heat grid. So heat grid is also nothing but let me add one more tile. Sorry. Grid. We copy the query here. Uh, here for this, also I'm using uh, Snowflake sample data. So, on this query, so here I'm using some web sales. Now, uh, for seeing the heat grid, just click on the button heat grid here. It will represent in the form of uh, some kind of uh, grid. So, for this particular uh, heat grid, it the data comes like this. Now you can just come here and then change a different type, different columns, whatever you want to represent here. Instead of this, you can select some other. So this heat grid may keep changing here. Okay, I just choose some other column. It will keep on changing. So it will represent the, the form of grids. So you can change any column to represent here in a beautiful way. Now let's move on to the next chat so before we so I have prepared already a beautiful dashboard um, which I want to show um, dashboard practice yeah. so this is line chat this is bar chat and then this is some heat grid, uh, the same queries I have used, but uh, I played around with the data and then prepared uh, a chart like this. The same query, if you want to see, it will also give you the same select star from some sample data. But in the chat, I have selected some other columns because of which uh, the heat grid is looking like this way. So here I have uh, chosen some web sales sold today. And then the web sales uh, 
item and then the ship date. So this is the head grid for the selected columns. So it is giving us a sold date count and then the item and then the ship date. So in the rows we have chosen item SK and in the columns I have chosen ship date and then the actual value is the count of the sold date okay for that particular sold date what is the count of that particular item so this is the head grid and uh, if you see scatter chart so this scatter chart is also the same chart but uh, i have applied some colors here so let's go to the same query you can see the underlying query. these are all the data i have inserted and then see in the chart See, I have uh, added the color to this particular C name. C name is nothing but a customer name. I have chosen A, B, C. That's why for this A, B, C, these are the colors came up. See here. So for A green, so let us see here. A is green and the value is 1. For H, the color is blue and then the value is 5 minus 5 Sorry. you can apply colors like this for the scatter chart and then we have a scorecard also so before going to scorecard I will just uh, use some queries which uh, can be helpful in monitoring some uh, jobs which are running from long so based upon this I have prepared a scorecard so here what I have done is so you may be aware of uh, information schema dot query history by using which uh, we can get uh, what are all the queries has been ran and then depending upon the start time end time you can filter those queries so now i have filtered query id and then the query text and then the user who ran that and then by using which warehouse this query has been ran and then the time difference the start time and end time because i want to find out the long running queries so here i have uh, here i have filtered the time difference so you see here start time and time uh, end time difference is some 29 i think this is uh, minute right so 29 minutes so this is 10 minutes one minute one minute okay so this by using this query i am going to get what are all the long running queries ordered by uh, descending order so I'm just refreshing the data again. So let me sort this one. See here, data has somehow changed actually. Then let me move on to the scorecard. So, scorecard is nothing but it will give the count actually. So, here you are seeing something too, but uh, why it is too, let us understand what is the what value came up here. So, I am using the same <coughs> information schema dot query history where the time difference I am expecting which is greater than 1 
so i want to filter the data for which a query has been taken more than one minute so here you can apply different filters what is a warehouse uh, by using which warehouse this big queries has been ran and which we where uh, which user is running long running queries okay all those different kind of filters we can apply and then we can filter the data and then we can find out how many such queries the particular user has ran or warehouse has ran because of which uh, there may be a uh, credit consumption increase okay so to avoid such issues we can build some query here which can be uh, placed under that particular scorecard underlying and then whenever we run that scorecard main dashboard page it will run and then it will give the uh, actual value of such queries so let me run this one see here uh, there is nothing now if we have something yesterday i have ran something select star that's why it has given if I run something here <clears throat> then the scoreboard is not giving any results here if I run some select star from some big table what will happen uh, the query will take more time and then the results will take more than in that uh, I just want to run some query by using which uh, we want to increase the scorecard value like star from snowflake sample data dot dot we'll use some big table customer table I don't know how many records I have I just run select star what will happen now this query will keep running and there may be a chance by using this particular warehouse whatever i have chosen it may run for more than a minute if it increases more than a minute my scorecard should display one as the result so give me some 30 more seconds okay. 29 more so once this query is run successfully i need to remove this particular query and then the underlying query i will keep the same for that particular scorecard function so see here uh, i just ran select star from the uh, customer table it may have Lacks of records. See here, this query is still running, still running. It is having some produced 45 million rows has already produced using the small size warehouse. There may be a chance uh, if the the query keeps running, it will consume the credits. So to avoid such situations, we will uh, monitor those queries and then we will kill accordingly. But uh, let in this one it's already more than a minute so i have cancelled it after one minute 30 seconds now let's move on to the dashboard i have not ran this query scorecard query see it's still showing zero if i run the main dashboard all the underlying queries will keep running see here this query is also running this query is also running these are all running and uh, what I'm expecting is here it should show one as the result still running this got refreshed because there is no change but this one is having some change and it is taking time I'm not sure why it is let me edit the query so you see this one is not moved I should have saved this one that's why it is still running 
Now let me run this. Yeah, uh, I have just given equal to uh, and uh, you can see uh, data here. So the queries which have been taken more than one minute of time. Run this again. It may change if any queries which keep adding and then which are taking more time. There are these are the this is the query which I have run some time back, right? I'm just uh, filtering all the records from the customer table. So now these are the three queries coming up. So I need to get count as three. See here, uh, this is the table. So actually, we are representing this table in the dashboard. So this is not the actual table, but we have filtered some columns and we represented in the as a tile in the dashboard and this is a scorecard on the line chart, bar chart, heat grid and a scatter chart. So by this kind of way we can represent the data in a uh, dashboard forms. So if we want to refresh anything we can build a number of dashboards like this and then we can just keep um, come over here and then run this one so that all the underlying charts can run and then which can be helpful for taking any actions by looking at this dashboard so that's it i have for this session um, thanks for watching this video and thanks for your valuable time so please subscribe to this channel uh, if you have any queries i will be reachable at uh, snowflake trainings dot in at uh, gmail dot com thank you